Hi everyone, it's me, Teacher Alex. So last week in your art class, you learned about the types of lines. So for this week, we're gonna learn about shapes. Shape means outer or outline of the picture. So it has two dimensions, the width and the length. There are three different shapes and forms, organic, Preform and geometric. When we say shape, it has only two dimensions, the width and the length. And when we say form, it has three dimensions, the width, the length, and the height. In form, you need to add more details, the highlights and the shadows to make your picture more realistic. And when we say shape, it is two dimension. It's just flat, like those pictures that you can see on your screen. Now let's review what are those organic, freeform, geometric shapes and forms. First is organic. Organic are those things that you can find in our nature. Examples, tree, flower, animals, fruits, or human. Next is free form. When we say free form, do not have a definite size or shape. Sometimes they are very wide, very long, or twisted with no direction. For example, the shape of a cloud, a wave, or a fire. So remember, when we say free form shapes, do not have a definite size or shape. And usually, you can found also in our nature or in our surroundings. And lastly, we have the geometric. The geometric, it has two parts. The 2D shapes and the 3D shape. For 2D shapes, we have triangle, circle, rectangle, heart, square, oval, star, diamond, octagon, those are 2D shapes or flat shapes. And the other parts are the 3D shapes. Cube, spear, prism, pyramid, cone, cylinder. Do you know what this is? Easy peasy. It's a circle. A circle is round. It's as round as this lemon half. Or like this clock. It's so late. What about this shape? It looks very much like a circle, but it's not. This is an oval. It has a flat face. It looks like this rugby ball. Or like this egg. Oopsie! This is not an oval anymore. This is a triangle. It's a polygon with three sides and three angles. The triangle is like this piece of cheese. Or like this slice of pizza. Yum yum! It looks delicious! This is a square. This square looks like sandwich bread. Or like this cookie. No more food talk. I'm feeling really hungry. This is a rectangle. It has four sides like the square, but they're not identical. Only its opposite sides are equal in length. A rectangle looks like this bill. Or like this picture frame. This is a diamond shape. Its four sides are identical, but its angles are not. Meaning this one and this one are equal. And so are these two. A diamond looks like the jewel on this crown. Or like this kite. Take a guess. What is this? Yes, it's a sphere. Spheres look like this tennis ball. Or like this bowling ball. And this is a cube. Cubes have four identical square sides. Dice are cubes. And this box is also a cube. This shape is a cylinder. Cylinders have two identical flat circular bases. A cylinder is like this can. Or like this candle. This is a prism. 
Both faces of the prism are identical. There are many types of prisms. This milk carton is a prism. As you can see, both of its faces are identical squares. But in this prism, its faces are triangles. It looks like a skating ramp. Wow, so fast! This one is super easy. I'm sure you've seen it before. It's a pyramid! Its face is a polygon, and its sides are triangles. All sides meet at a central point, the apex. Just like the pyramids in ancient Egypt. Or like this Indian-style teepee. Finally, I'll show you a cone. As you can see, the cone has a circular base and a vertex. The cone looks like this birthday hat. Or like this ice cream cone. Oopsie! So class, those are the different shapes and forms. So it has three kinds of shapes and forms. Organic, freeform, and geometric. Drawing shapes into forms. When you draw the things you see around you, adding shadow to the drawing can make it more realistic. Drawing shadow by using lines. Drawing shadow by using light and dark colors. And remember, when we say shapes, comes from lines. And when we say form, has three dimension. We have the length, width, and death. I hope you understand and reminder, please don't forget to answer your worksheets. And write the following slides in your notebook.